Sometimes when I cry, I start to cry harder simply because I am crying. Or I cry because I know that in the world somewhere there are little girls wearing tutus and singing Christmas songs. Or because Sarah McLachlan comes onto my TV and tells me about the cats and the dogs that don't have homes. I cry because on the internet there are pictures of pigs wearing rain boots. And there are pictures of Sharpe puppies that look like rolled up towels. The internet is great. I cry because they call me fat, even though I am fat. Because most of the time a word is just a word until it is not just a word, it is a weapon. I cry because there is death. I cry because people die and maybe the last thing they thought of was their children and I cry because I don't have children yet. I cry when there is no end and I cry because there is an end and I cry because you love me so well. Because I used to cry alone because I wanted to die and then I cry harder because your shoulder is so soft because the sunset is so beautiful on the Connecticut River. I cry because I am scared I am losing my mind or because I'm on meds or I'm crying because I forgot my meds or I'm crying for the fact maybe I'm not actually myself. But I cry because there is also good. There is also chocolate cake and love and Harry Potter and the brilliant gasps of holding a hand. There is also love letters and first kisses and second kisses and third kisses and hammocks. I love hammocks. And how could one person possibly live with all of this light? Lay your head down. Lay your head down. What is the state of your heart? Is it concave? Are you awake? Stay awake. Stay